the second on the stage there. He's, not thinking about that. He's just thinking about every passing meter. Even in a good uh, race face, looks controlled. His rhythm looks good. The attack's starting to come behind. Zvyov trying to stretch Alexey Lutsenko. He knows he's just got one thing that he must do, and that is stay on terms with the man in front. It looks to me as if his teammate Lipovic is starting to feel the pinch here a little bit. They roll around. Lipovic is delayed. And they're all looking around themselves. That can only offer an opportunity for Pelizzari, the young rider from the Green Project Bardiani CSF squad, who's going to take his chance, fortune favoring the brave and none braver than the bravery of youth as well, Pelizzari the teenager, in pursuit of the 28 year old from Slovenia final kilometre is uh, under the kites in a metaphorical sense Domanovic looking good And he's going to get on terms. This is a wonderful job done by Giulio Pellizzari, young emerging talent from the Green Project party, Ani CSF. Sixth overall in the race, could well move up. And uh, Domen Novak doesn't want anyone to come and uh, play with him right now. Will he be able to fend them off? And are they coming behind? The Astana squad trying to get command of the uh, of that peloton. And uh, Lutsenko has to have it for company and for friendship and for for the assistance to have it in front of Leibovic. Uh, sorry, for, uh, from in front of uh, Zvihov. Zvihov, has he got one more attack in him? Well, he's attacking right now. Zvihov goes on the attack behind as uh, up front. We've got the young Italian, Pelizzari, arrives and passes within uh, the last 500 metres. Doman Novak just doesn't have any answer to this one. Could be glory here for Giulio Pelizzari. Meanwhile, the bike race is behind. The battle for overall honours is also pretty interesting because that was definitely a sustained push from Ben Zvihov. Doman Novak is out of it, and uh, Zvihov is pushing hard here. And how, well, Lutsenko is being asked a question. He's dipping his head, but he's still welded to the back wheel. And this one is going to come down to the final push for glory here, as indeed they're behind. Alexei Geran tries to get into, into the mix. Oh, it's going to be also close here as the young Italian Giulio Pellizzari goes for glory, coming with a run as well. And Elkamika trying to get involved. Or is it Langelotti indeed? And uh, Zvihov still has. For company, Alexei Lutsenko at the death. Giulio Pelizzari in danger of being overhauled by his fellow countryman Vitor Leonotti. It's going to be so close. Inside 100 meters to go, Leonotti goes for glory. Here comes Alexei Lutsenko. Wants another victory on the mountain. Alexei Lutsenko, the overall race leader, is going to copper pass in his position at the top, but he's not going to get there in time. Langelotti has the strength and the glory, and it is Langelotti that gets it for Burgos BH. And what about that for a sensational conclusion to the stage? Alexei Lutsenko, second across the line. That's bonus seven. Seconds, doesn't add to his stage victories here on this particular climb, but he has extended his lead at the head of general classification. A stunning success for Victor Langelotti from the Burgos PH squad, who gets the glory for the Spanish outfit. And uh, with the glory comes the spoils. Well, Victor Langelotti. A Polish national collapses into his uh, chair. What about Three. that? Massive victory. He's got a win in the uh, Volta Portugal in the past. Seventh on the stage of the Volta España in 22. But this is uh, first Three. victory of the season. And an absolutely sensational one. A huge, huge success for him in his career. immediately gets the recovery drink well earned it's from Monaco actually
apologies. I did say uh, Polish national. Got the colours uh, colourway mixed up. He is a uh, monogast. Yangalotti, rarest of beasts. Uh, Monaco superstar cyclist, and uh, that was a superstar performance. And that's Litsenko distancing Ben Zvihoff with inside of the line, adding to his advantage on general classification, overhauling uh, the young Italian Pellizzare on the run to the line, but not able to get on terms with the Monegasque Langalotti, who hangs on for a sensational success. Arms wide, he takes victory. Stage six. There, uh, Lutsenko wanted it. If he had the legs, he would have gone for it. Well, he's timing his effort to absolute perfection. Frustration for Pelizzari. There'll be opportunities in the future. He's a coming talent, there's no doubt about it. Victor 